All right, so uh, chemistry of life is sensitive to acidic and basic conditions. And so fluids inside and outside of cells contain a great number of dissolved ions, uh, which can influence the structure and function of cells. Uh, hydrogen ions are the most abundant and most influential of these uh, ions. A lot of times you'll see an H and a plus. The plus means that they're positively charged ions of hydrogen. Uh, in any given moment in liquid water, there are some molecules that break apart. And, and when they break apart, one of the hydrogen ions breaks off. So you have a hydrogen ion, and then you have what's left is a hydroxide ion, which has an oxygen and a hydrogen, and that is going to be negatively charged. Um, at, when that one, when that uh, water molecule is breaking apart, at the same time, there is a hydrogen ion being attached to a hydroxide ion to form a water molecule. All right, so. At any given time, you have this breaking apart and putting together, but there's no net gain or loss of these hydrogen ions. You have the same amount all the time, all right? So, uh, since these hydrogen ions can influence uh, the function and structure of, of cells, uh, scientists developed a pH scale that will be that uses uh, that's used to measure the concentrations of hydrogen ions in a solution. All right, and the pH scale ranges from zero. Zero mean it means it has the highest concentration of of hydrogen ions, and then 14, which means it has the lowest concentration of hydrogen ions. So zero to 14. In the middle is pH 7. 7, if the fluid is pH 7, that means it's neutral. It has the same concentration of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. Uh, those, most of the water inside cells and outside cells are around our pH 7. Uh, water out in the environment uh, for instance, around Lawrenceburg or Lexington, uh, we have uh, higher concentrations of, of calcium, and this calcium-rich uh, water uh, is actually uh, actually absorbs some of the hydrogen ions. So as it absorbs some of the hydrogen ions, it takes them out. You have lower pH than, or I mean, I'm sorry, a higher pH than normal neutral conditions. And so pH around uh, Lexington in, for instance, uh, Elkhorn Creek uh, could be around 8. All right. So a little higher pH. Uh, that's because they're less hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions. So acids are substances that donate hydrogen ions into solutions. Bases are substances that accept or take out hydrogen ions uh, from the solution. So if you have a solution that has a pH, uh, that has a higher concentration of hydrogen ions by uh, probably adding an acid, all right, um, then the pH goes uh, goes down below seven, and when it does, you have an acidic solution. A basic solution is where you have a lower concentration of P of hydrogen ions, and the pH is going to be above seven. So, from pH seven to zero are acidic solutions. Solutions that have pH. Uh, 7 to 14 are basic solutions. Uh, those subs you can put substances in solution that help resist the changes of pH and these are 
these work by either accepting hydrogen ions or donating hydrogen ions depending on the condition that uh, exists. So Mr. Brumley is making you take a uh, exam number one and you're, you're studying all night before and you get tired and hungry and so you decide to go get something to eat. So you drive down the road and off in the distance is this white glow and you get closer and closer and you see the castle of white and you run in through the drive through and get 15 white castle sliders oh and you eat them on the way home so they're gone by the time you get back to your house and for for a while everything is great but then your stomach starts turning and burning and wow wow right and so what has happened is the beautiful white castles have started uh, donating hydrogen ions into the solution in your stomach because the solution in your stomach is actually hydrochloric acid and it does have a, a pH below 7 so, because what happens when you vomit, right? When you vomit, you, uh, your throat gets exposed to the acidic solution and it, and it causes it to burn, right? And so you have a, a, a lower pH in your stomach, but those white castles are just lowering the pH, so it starts to burn. And so what you do is grab a, a roll of R-O-L-A-I-D-S. You, you put them into your stomach, and those Rolades actually start accepting some of the hydrogen ions and take them out of solution so that the pH goes up, back up to its normal pH, right? And so that is a buffer, right? A buffer helps... Uh, maintain a certain pH. So here's a pH scale. Let's see, uh, pH of one to fourteen, and you can see neutral water is at seven or pure water. If you go, if you start adding hydrogen ions, you go from uh, urine and saliva to black coffee, to acid rain, which is in the five range, to uh, carbonic acid, which is in your uh, Coca-Cola, right? There's hydrochloric acid, which is down in the threes, uh, gastric acid, see there, pH two, all right? Battery acid, pH one. If you go to the opposite side of neutral, you've got seawater, has uh, has a pH of a little higher than seven. Baking soda, uh, milk of magnesia, ammonia, soapy water, pH 12. Look at uh, bleach, 13. And then drain cleaner is 14. Drain cleaner is uh, made of sodium uh, hydroxide. All right, sodium hydroxide is uh, also the the molecule that makes up a, a substance called lye. Lye is uh, was used as a soap uh, by early Americans. It it uh, was a dry form of sodium hydroxide, and it was used as soap. And uh, when we think of acids, we think of substances that can burn, right? But a lot of times we don't think of bases or alkaline. Base and alkaline are the same thing. Uh, bases as being uh, able to burn. The ability to burn of a substance is called, it's cost, uh, whether it's caustic or not, right? 
and a lot of acids are caustic but bases are as well and so um, lye uh, the soap sodium, hyd uh, sodium hydroxide uh, was used uh, to clean people when just like we had bar of soap now uh, and it actually did clean the dead cells off the top of the epidermis because it burned them off uh, a lot of times you can you have a, a soapy uh, feel to your skin if you if you get a little bit of sodium hydroxide on your skin and that's because it's burning the outer layer of your skin cells so um, so pH and then lastly uh, we, we talked about the formation of bonds all right and uh, but as we get molecules together uh, these molecules are put together by things called chemical reactions and the, these are just the combination of atoms to form molecules and uh, these molecules to form even larger or bigger molecules uh, and so chemical reactions are the foundation of life uh, most of the molecules that are are uh, important to life are very large uh, and so they have to be these smaller molecules have to be put together to form these larger molecules and the process by which this is done is a chemical reaction and it leads to the uh, to chemical change of matter uh, the way molecules combine to form more complex molecules and substances right so basically uh, you'll see certain diagrams and written out all right uh, we're not going to deal you're not going to have to deal know a lot of these chemical uh, abbreviations or anything but uh, there are a few basic uh, chemical reactions that we will look at and know um, and in the case of water uh, if you take two hydrogens uh, two hydrogen molecules and you add it those to uh, oxygen you'll get two water molecules right so what you start with those molecules are called reactants and then the molecules that you end up with the, are called products um, you will you will always have a, a arrow pointing from the reactants toward the products and so there is a question on your exam I'll give you certain uh, I'll give you a chemical reaction like the one there with a 2H2 plus O2 and then an arrow pointing to 2H2O and I'll ask you what are the H2 and the O2's those are the reactants and what is the H2O's what are the H2O's and those are the products right? so that in the summary of chapter 2 uh, so we'll talk about any questions or specifics you might have uh, on our next class period.